welcome back to my channel so this is the intro for this video basically here i have all the drugstore makeups that i'm going to be trying for this video this is a first impressions video um, i'm going to be reviewing each one of them um and applying them to my face to see how they work and how well they work so let's get started hi guys so we're at walmart um we're gonna be looking at the, the drugstore products so let's go ahead and see what they have first we're gonna go ahead and look for bronzer oh and contour actually first we're gonna look for primer because um i had a primer for my mom it was mary Kay primer and that was really good it wasn't like oily it was like matte so i'm gonna try to find like a matte primer if that's the thing NYX. I don't know if they have NYX here. <gasps> oh my gosh, they have NYX. Okay, my mom found one. A lot of things are empty right now. It's not used. Oh, it's not used. I heard this is really good. So there's um primer here by NYX. <gasps> oh, there it is. The wonder stick, the contour stick. That's what I've been trying to find. There's also e.l.f primer um, that I've seen over here but it looks like they're mostly out there's mineral tone adjusting and then poreless okay so we also found this which I've seen on online the elf poreless putty primer so I want to try that out too I didn't get foundation or concealer because I already have that and they are from the drugstore so I believe that counts so I already have are these ones it is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in 235, and it is the matte and poreless one, and I also have the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. And then the ones that I just bought from the store. So for primer, I got these. I got the NYX Professional Makeup Shine Killer. I decided to try both, so I'm going to try this one on this side and then this one on this side um, so my mom said this one's good but I've also seen a lot of people use this elf poreless putty primer so I decided to get that too and then for bronzer I got this physician's formula butter bronzer and I also heard a lot of good reviews about this one and then for blush I got this NYX sweet cheeks matte creamy powder blush so this one looked very good so I wanted to try it out then I got this NYX Wonder Stick Highlighter and Contour Stick. And then for highlight, I got this Maybelline Master Chrome Highlight. And then lastly, I got this Hard Candy. I have never heard of this brand, but it just looks like this. It's like a nude palette, which I like um, simple colors, so I decided to get this one. And that is everything I got. I didn't get any brushes because I already have a bunch of brushes already here at my house. So first, we're going to go ahead and wet my beauty blender. Okay, so now we have it wet. So I'm just going to set this to the side. And we're going to go in with our... Where's my... Oh. <laughs> with our two primers. So I'm going to put this one on the side, this one on this side. See which one I like better. Um, so first, we're going to go in with the NYX primer. It is sealed, so that's good. Because a lot of them were, like, open at the store. So we're just going to grab this, put it on our fingers. Oh! It's a black primer, which I've never... Okay, um, so that is different. Maybe it will like... We're just going to go ahead and try it out. Um... Okay, so yeah, it turns clear when you put it on. I was just, I've never seen my, um, a color, oh, a color primer. I'm also going to be looking in the mirror here. I like it. It's really nice. Yeah, so the color does fade. Oh. And it's really, yeah, I love the matte texture. For me, personally, I love the matte texture of primer. That one's really nice. So, I definitely, if you're, like, an oily person, I definitely recommend this because it's very 
matte. It's very matte. Yeah. Good night, poop. Oh. <laughs> okay, I also put this light on. That looks way better lighting. So this one I give a 10 out of 10. The color did throw me off just because um, I didn't know if it was going to like tint or something. But it's actually really good. I give it a 10 out of 10 for the NYX primer. Now we're going to go in with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Here it is. This is what it looks like. I love the packaging. That's the first thing I noticed. I love anything like in a tin like this. Here's what it looks like. And it's very smooth. And we're just gonna spread that out. So, um, so far this one seems a lot more hydrating. I don't know, it feels like lotion almost, I would describe it as. Um, but I believe I like this one better. Just because of the feel. I love the matte feel but this one's also really nice i would give this a 9 out of 10 8 9 8.5 8.5 out of 10 so next we are going to be going in with the foundation since we did do our primary um i use this a lot and i love it i'm just gonna say 10 out of 10 for the foundation um for me and my skin it's been going pretty good um i love the formula i just put it on my beauty blender like this so if you're trying to find a good Store foundation, I would recommend that one. Just gonna dot it on my face like this, and then we're gonna blend this in. I don't know, I always, whenever I'm doing anything under my eye or like near my eye, I always open my mouth. <laughs> it's so weird, but yeah. See, look how smooth my skin looks after. I just love it. I just love the foundation. I don't usually use concealer, but for the sake of this video, I will. Um, because I feel like any concealer just makes you, like, look old. <laughs> I don't know if that's just me, but it always gives me, like, bags under my eye. Uh, put that under my eye. Okay. So today it was Mother's Day and basically what we did for Mother's Day was I just went to church with my mom and then we came home um, and then the whole family and my grandma went out to Yang Ming which is an all you can eat buffet on the north side so I ate like sushi and crab and it was so good um, so that was what we did for Mother's Day. This concealer, I do like the formula. I just feel like every concealer does that for me. It's pretty good. It blends out really nicely. So I give this a like 7.5 out of 10 um, for the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. Do you do bronzer or contour first? Using bronzer with contour. Together they create a magical, irresistible combination to create a dreamy, sun-kissed, flawless looking complexion. Apply your contour first. Okay, so you heard Google. We're gonna go ahead and use the NYX Wonder Stick. There's instructions on the side on how you could do that. Okay, so here is the NYX Wonder Ooh. Okay, NYX, I see you. Um, it looks like this. I love the packaging. So we're gonna go ahead and open this side. And then I think it just twists up like this. And then it just like pops up like that. Now we're going to put it on the side. Like this. Oh, it's really smooth. Okay, and then we're going to do our nose. I do feel like lines here. And you do like this thing here. Our nose. Which we're just going to slide. That along there, and am I supposed to be using a beauty blender? Okay. Um. Okay, so we're gonna try that again, but not with a beauty blender. We're gonna try with 
a brush just for my nose. We're not going to do this side. Um, okay. Yeah, that I feel I feel like that is more efficient than the beauty blender. Cuz with the beauty blender, I feel like it's too big to go around the small areas of your nose, so I can't really get into there. We're going to put the concealer in the middle. See if that helps. Oh, it's like a shimmery concealer. It's very shimmery if you could tell. Okay, so we're going to put that in the middle. Kind of looks like highlighter because the thing is shimmery. I'm still going to apply highlighter later. I really like the combo. Oh. Oh. Wait a second. So I feel like this is a product you have to like learn to use. Right now, I don't really know how to use it, but I love it, and I feel like I'm going to be using it as much as possible. So, the it spreads out really nicely, and then also, it's really easy to use, and I love the formula. And the next product we're going to be going in with is the Physician's Formula butter bronzer. I've also heard a bunch of things. I've also heard that it smells really nice, so let's put that to the test. What I love most is the packaging. It looks so fancy. Okay, we're gonna smell it. Mmm, it reminds me of like the tart. Mmm, this smells so good. Was amazing. This is what it comes with, and it also comes with a brush, so that's nice. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be using this brush because I don't really know. <laughs> um, it's just gonna stay at the bottom there. So we're gonna go in with this angled brush. And we're going to put it on the bottom here. Okay, that was, that smells so good. Okay. So I absolutely love that also. Um, I give that one a 10 out of 10. Now we're going to be going in with the blush. Okay, sorry, I got a lot of NYX stuff because a lot of them look nice. If you have NYX in your drugstore, this one is in Citron Rose. Citron Rose? Citron? Citron? Uh, but this is the color I got. And we're just going to kind of open this one up. So that will open. I mean, like the pack, mm, the box looked nice. I just feel like they could have done better on the packaging, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. The color is beautiful. I love the color. I love corally colors on me. I'm gonna go ahead and. Get the nose. Oh, it's a nose. Oh, I like that. Okay. That's really nice. I like that color. So, 10 out of 10. Love this one. The color is really nice. Um, I think I picked a really nice color. Does its job well. So, I give this one a 10 out of 10. Next, for highlight, which is my favorite part because I usually just wear highlight. And then I have my eyelashes. This one's in Molten Gold. Number 100 by Maybelline. Okay, so that did pick up a lot of product. It looks really good on the brush. We're going to see if it looks nice on my face. <laughs> okay, that is shimmery. 
It does its job and it looks really natural. So I love. Okay. I love that. I love that. Okay, so this is a 10 out of 10. I love this one. Um, overall. Like it shines. I love this one. I love this one. Okay. That is a really nice highlighter. As you can see. It's very. It's not as like. Shiny. If you really want it like very shiny. Um, I wouldn't go for this one. But it looks really natural. It, it still shines. And it's like. You can see it. And it's just like. Makes it look like you have like a glow a natural glow which i actually really like the last usually i don't wear eyeshadow but we're going to be going in with the hard candy eyeshadow palette so this. this is what it looks like i've never heard of this brand before but i saw it at walmart so i decided that i wanted to try it out and we're gonna do just a brown because i usually just go for brown so we're just gonna so we're gonna use this brown on my eyelids and oh dang that's really nice y'all i think i'm like giving everything a 10 can you see that it looks really nice and then um i'm also gonna put in a shimmery color on like or like a darker color on the end darker color and then we're gonna put it at the bottom just to even it out overall I am impressed with all these products. Here is the final look with all the makeup I used today from the drugstore. Um, I am very impressed. So if you guys want to go ahead and get all, any of these products, I recommend you to. Um, my favorite product was probably the Wonder Stick and this primer so these two products and yeah that is the end of the drugstore makeup review i really loved everything now i have like to go products because for makeup i usually just use james charles palette for everything when i mean everything i mean everything bronzer highlight eyeshadow blush everything i use it for everything so now i have individual ones so i am so glad and um here is the final look hopefully you guys enjoyed this i really enjoyed trying new products if you enjoy videos like this instead of like vlogs let me know um so yeah make sure you guys like subscribe comment down below and turn on the post notification bell so you get notified every time i post bye guys